the best part, right? You can do this. Do <laughs> me it. So it's levitating, it's floating in the air. Art lessons. Today we're going to make four season tree. We're going to use our hands and a little bit of brushes, just a little bit. And this could be a wonderful gift for your parents. This is a four season tree project. We have four canvases and they represent different seasons. And so first we put some color on them. You pre-make this ahead of time so it has time to dry and it's ready. And then you assemble it together. Once you assemble it together, you bring out the tree. It's extremely important to do that because if you do them separately and when you put them together, they may not match. So, and then once your tree is in place, you are ready to bring out the seasons. Please note that each color is different to fall or winter theme, spring or summer. Every one of you is going to get four canvases. Place canvases in the natural seasonal order clockwise. You can place your canvases in any order or direction that you like. They can look like the example, or they can look in any way you would like to see your holiday tree. The only thing that has to remain constant is the tree itself. And even that doesn't have to be the same for everybody. I want to talk about the paint itself. This is a toxic-free paint because we're going to be using our hands. Please come get your brushes and paints. For this project, you will need four canvases, a paint set, and one flat medium length bristle brush. The only time you're allowed to use a brush is right now. And that's it. This is the only time you're gonna use a brush. After, I take away your brush. And you can only use your fingers. You can use any, all five fingers if you wanted to, but you can only use your fingers, okay? So right now, what I want you to do is imagine what kind of tree you would like for this to be. Once again, it doesn't have to be like this. This is just an example. Your tree can be very willowy and windy. It could be any kind of tree that you like, okay? Please choose a color for your tree and start. Use brush to paint a tree that spreads out to all four canvases. Oh, look at this. This is a grandfather tree, an old grandfather tree. Beautiful, very wise old tree. This tree must be at least 200 years old. Be generous. Be generous with the hue. Add more. Add more so it doesn't turn blue. Keep adding, right? Let's cover it up. That will give us a little bit of texture on the bark, right? We want that texture there. Beautiful. Very good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Add a little bit of the uniqueness to the bark, right? Because the bark doesn't contain only brown. Here we go, just gonna tap a little bit like that. Okay, add a little bit of that. Now, if you look from a distance, what, that, what that's gonna do is it's actually going to give you the illusion like it's round. It's not just flat tree, it has a texture. Oh, look at this one, even more paint. This one definitely, this one needs those lines, right? This is like an old grandfather tree and what do they have? They have big roots. Try a little bit of the purple on there and add a little bit of those lines, right? Like that. That's it, right there, excellent. Very perfect. It doesn't have to be even and smooth because tree is not smooth. 
tree has many, many different lines and curves and you want to, there we go, look at that. If you stop and just look, you immediately see the texture just poking with the paint a little bit adds a volume to the tree. So here we have, we're almost done, which is very good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of different color here, okay? Because that's the only thing that we're missing, right? Just a little bit, like that. So we have the same effect that we have on the other trees because they're not flat at all, right? We're gonna pick up one of these. Uh-oh, <laughs> right, you see? Make sure you paint the tree not only on top of the canvas, but on the inside edge of the canvas as well. So we gotta fill this in as well. But we can't leave this part behind because if we leave this part behind and you hang the tree and you look from the angle, what are you gonna see? You're gonna see a pink line. We don't have, wanna have a pink line, right? So we're gonna cover this in brown as well, okay? Go ahead, okay? Let's see, good, oh, okay, I see. Now, what we, we have here is we have a distortion, right? A little distortion, because this part of the trunk is bigger than this part of the trunk, right? It almost looks like you, what you wanna do is you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna go like this, right? Look, you wanna go like this. You wanna put it this way, because this is wider, and this, <laughs> I, I think what we need to do is we need to change a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this, okay? And what this is gonna do, it's gonna give us a close-up, really nice close-up on this tree, and we're gonna see what's really happening. You know, how it's transforming right there up close. So all the leaves are gonna be bigger, everything is gonna be much bigger because we're looking so close, all right? Good, that's a good idea. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, we have to fix this little area right here, okay? Because right here what we have is we have two canvases and then we have stop. So we gotta make sure that they're linked together a little bit more. So let's just add a little bit more paint here in this area, okay? So that we understand that there is really something growing there, okay? Just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna, see? Same problem right there. Now if it's gonna be up on the wall, what are we gonna see? Right, so we cover that up right there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Looks very good. Now it's time to stop. I'm going to take away your brushes because we're going to the fun part of finger painting. All right. Give me a brush, please. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for cleaning the brush. I'm going to be taking away your water as well. You won't be needing it as well. Okay. Now, choose the season you want. Choose your favorite season. Thank you. And start painting with your fingers. This is finger painting. What are you gonna do? You're gonna take a color that you want, open it up, dip your finger inside, and just tap. Take your finger, dip it into paint, and start painting one season at a time. Okay, now I'm gonna pick a little different color here because we're gonna do fall, for example. Okay, so here we go. Tap, and just tap. What you're doing is you're representing the leaves. The leaves that are on the branch, okay? And remember, they can be different colors, okay? Now, when you have your hands dirty, what you're gonna do is you're gonna clean your hands and pick a different color, okay? And for that, I'm gonna give you some napkins and shoes to clean your hands, okay? You. You're welcome. Here we go. Okay, now, good, very, very good. Also, you might, what you wanna do um, is you wanna use the entire pad, finger pad. Use the entire finger pad of your finger, okay? Because then your leaves are gonna be nice and round, right? So you can, for example, like that, right? Like that, there we go. 
Because remember, your leaves have to be super big because this is the heart of the tree, right? So they're not gonna be just small little specks, they're gonna be bigger. That's it. Right, right. Nice round dots, perfect. Keep going. And some cleaning. Slice. All right, we're gonna start with one season, right? So this right here is summer. So we're gonna stick just with the colors of the summer, okay? Because if we don't use the summer colors here, we're gonna have kind of dirty canvases and they're not going to represent seasons, okay? So stick with one season. Dip your finger, there we go, perfect. And just tap, tap. There are leaves on the floor, perfect. Tap with a pad, there we go, perfect. Add a little bit of white, just the tap, right there, tap. There we go, that's it, right? Just those few leaves that are up there, and these leaves are falling down, and these are leaves are already on the floor. There we go, okay, very good. Very, very good. That's snow, right? Now, I believe it, how does, what happens to snow? Snow stays, right? It's it, usually, it's not right on the branches, it's on top of the branches, right? Yeah, it's right on top of, like a little side of a branch can be covered with snow. Maybe a little bit in the groove, right there, right? Right there, there should be a little bit more. What happens in the summer? In the summer you have fruit, right? Yeah. So we want to show that perhaps there is some fruit on this tree. We don't know what kind of tree it is, but maybe it has some fruit. Maybe it doesn't, but we just want to show that warmth. Very nice. Yes, that is very nice, it's very comfortable. It's beautiful weather, it's beautiful foliage. It's perfect, yes, very nice. Let's do the spring one. Use non-toxic paint when doing finger painting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tap, just like that. Because what happens in the winter? Go ahead, snow. Now you see right there, I go right against the roots like that, just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. And what else you have? Usually sometimes it's snowing, right? Snowing. So there's some snow sitting up there on the tree branch. There it is, a little bit of snow, definitely. And then we can show that it's snowing, right? Look at it, it's really nice, isn't it? Show me your hands. Excellent, look at that. That's not bad at all. That's pretty good. Finger painting is fantastic, you guys. What a fun project and a great gift. Fun, simple, beautiful, and absolutely colorful treasure you can hang in your house and enjoy. Miss Vicky was here. Have a great day. Subscribe!